Hello friends. Well, uh, with around 19 subjects that we have to read during our MBBS, we rarely find time to read a book cover to cover. Or at the most, we'll read a few books in that manner. I'll share with you today a book that I have read during my MBBS days, rather multiple times cover to cover. I like the book very much and I think I should share with you and I highly recommend you read this book if you are an MBBS graduate out there. So the book that I'm talking about is a Rapid Review Pathology by Edward Golian. Who is Professor Golian? He is a, a retired professor from Department of Pathology from the Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences. He's uh, famously known for his pathology lectures um, as part of, initially he was a, a part of Kaplan Medical and subsequently formed his um, own foundation, uh, which is titled as, let me just check, it is the Falcon Physician Review Lecture Series. Now, this book is primarily designed for USMLE Step 1. People find it useful even for Step 2, but irrespective of the exam that you're preparing for or preparing for, be that uh, USMLE, be that any other exam, including NEAT or NEXT, whatever it is, this book should be of extreme help. Now, why do I like this book? Number one, is that this is even though it's labeled as a rapid review pathology but i believe this is an extremely comprehensive text uh, covering almost all important topics of pathology so it's not just a review it's a comprehensive text it's full of uh, of, of all the relevant and important information that's number one point now the second point is that even though it's a book of pathology but it will give you um, the clinical pearls from the physiology portion bridging the pathology to clinical clinical presentation so it has excellent clinical correlations it's not just a pathology text it is almost a book of medicine in general that's the second thing i like about this book and third is the way it presents things. Some of the things may be very complex, but this book simplifies almost all disease pathophysiologies. Uh, let's open a chapter, for example. See, uh, this is a chapter on red blood cell disorders. You can open any of these chapters on this textbook. This was accidentally on the screen. So see how it starts with physiology. It starts with the basis of erythropoiesis. Even it explains a simple facts like what really erythropoietin is. It explains all the relevant definitions, giving you a broader picture before you actually jump into the, 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 the disease processes. Explains normal physiology in depth. Explains everything that you must have read in your first year MBBS before joining the second year MBBS. It gives you a quick review of the same. And then it starts with its main pathology. And meanwhile, see how it beautifully explains the basis for doing the different lab tests, all, all the lab tests. It, it's an excellent, excellent, excellent uh, uh, text. Uh, gives some of these excellent, um, these flow charts. I even find it useful even uh, today while I'm practicing, I'm practicing medicine. And then subsequently it will, after an extensive description of physiology or the different lab tests, it will then jump into the disorders. So, and, and, and look at the clinical image. So this is a book of pathology, but you're finding some of the beautiful clinical vignettes that are spread across the text. So from a peripheral blood picture to all the clinical signs of anemia in one place, and you're reading from a textbook of pathology, that's, a, that's great to learn. And last but not the least are these small pearls on the sides of the page. You know, at every page, almost, see, on every page, the most important information has been extracted and put on the sides in the form of these one-liners or just small pieces of information that very clearly stick to your mind. And almost, you can recall them in the exam, you know, very easily. They're very high yield points. 
So this is something I liked about this book. Now, why I recommend this book is because a lot of the exams nowadays are going like from simple basic MCQ questions, which were like one-liners to more clinical uh, correlations to more clinical, uh, you know, vignette a form of questions that they might give you a clinical scenario and ask you a question from basic physiology or basic pathology or pathophysiology. And that is what one can learn easily from this text. So this book is, a, I think, from, from me, it's a beautiful book that one can use for any exam be that a USMLE type exam, of course, for that, this is one of the gold standard books, but it's also, it, it, it will definitely be useful for the next and other clinical exams that are held in India. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I wish you luck for all your exams.